Hello YouTube world and today's subject I'd like to talk about is money and what it makes money tie into a relationship. If you don't have no money that will destroy your relationship. It's all about money when it comes to a relationship. It's about money, it's about communication, but most of all it's about money because if you ain't got no money who wants to be with you? And that's what is part, that's what ties into if you can't get a job, unemployment, or you're having a hard time getting a job. So that makes a person depressed, stressed, and it ties into the whole family, through your kids, through your wife, etc. I mean, money, if you don't have no money, your relationship will fall apart, point blank. It's all about the money. I don't care what nobody tell me it is. It's all about the money and it's about communication with your partner. Whoever it is, you know, whoever you with. It's about that. I have people told me money ain't everything. Well, you're right. Money is not everything. But if you don't have no money, your relationship going to fall apart. Everybody going to point the finger at the person who's supposed to be the house head of the household. Or anybody who's trying to pay bills. Money it's part of that. It's the, I say, it's the main reason why a relationship will work. Because if you don't have no money, you're going to have arguments, uh, depressed, uh, depression, stress, everybody going at each other's throat. But you're going to have people say, no, nah, money ain't everything. Money is not everything. But right now, money is everything. Because if you don't have money, who wants to be with a person without no money? I know I don't. So you have how you think the person feels who's unemployed, who's trying to get any kind of job to take care of his or her family, and they can't get a job. That can make anybody uh, crazy, stressed and depressed and arguing at each other. But you have people out there say, oh, they're not trying hard enough. How you know? Are you that person? Are you in that person's head? Do you live with that person? No, you don't. But I just wanted to bring this uh conversation to the whole world what you think because if you don't have money I think it destroys your relationship I don't care what it is because you can't pay bills you can't do that for your family you can't do entertainment period with your family paycheck to paycheck you still struggling but at least you have a job and you can still take care of some stuff but if you're unemployed it's hard because who's going to take care of you where are you going to get some money from the government is tripping right now, so who's going to take care of you? Family going to get tired of taking care of you. Friends going to get tired of taking care of you. So you have to come up with your niche. Come up with what you need to do. Go to school. Get some training. Do what you got to do to change your situation. Because it is help out there. But you got to go out there and find it. And it's not going to just come to you. You used to hear about celebrities getting discovered inside the mall. That really don't happen no more like that. So, if you think somebody going to come to you, you're wrong, dead wrong. So, come up with your own niche. Come up with your own business plan. Do what you got to do to take care of your family. Do what you got to do so you won't be caught up in this situation being unemployed no more. You got to do what you got to do. That's how it is. Quit pointing your fingers at everybody because part of it is the government is messing around. We already know that. But right now, you got to stand up for your family and do what you got to do to take care of your family needs. Don't cry about everything. Just do what you got to do. Go find your niche. Get some training. Go to college. Do what you because it is help out there. Grants and loans. You can get some help, but you can't just sit at home, watch TV, play with the remote control, be on the computer, etc. You got to do what you got to do. I did a lot of training and schooling too, and then I'm trying to showcase myself and get myself out there. That's what I've been doing. So. Uh, Please comment what you think about money, because money, if you don't have money in your relationship, your relationship can be destroyed. I see it now. I mean, it can destroy your relationship if no money is coming in. Money is the whole part of your relationship. You can like it or don't like it, but it is. Because who's going to stay with a broke person? I know I don't want to. I stay with them as long as I can. If that person's not trying to do what they're supposed to do, trying to go out there and better themselves, or getting no training or trying to find any kind of job, which I know it's hard to get any kind of job, but you need to come up with your own niche 
and do what you got to do to take care of your family. So peace. Please comment on what you think money ties into a relationship. They said money is evil. You got that right. It is evil. But we do need money to make it in this world. Period. It's all about the Benjamins. Please comment. Money. No money can destroy your relationship. And that's the truth. It's going on in any kind of relationship. You can talk to a psychiatrist. They'll tell you the same thing. Money is part of your relationship. I hate to say it. Peace and I'm out of here.